Hi guys! Today I wanted to do something a little bit different and actually give you a little tutorial on what your assignment is going to be today because I want to make sure that you know how to do all of the steps to eliminate as much confusion as possible because I know that this one can be a little tricky but I also think that it's really fun. Um, I also wanted to give a little announcement that every day this week there's going to be an assignment. So Monday there's going to be an assignment, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Friday is Good Friday. We weren't going to have school anyway, so there won't be an assignment on Friday, but Monday through Thursday there will be assignments. So I just want to prepare you for that because it means that every day you need to be prepared to jump on Google Classroom and see what is due for the day and be really diligent. And I know that you can do that. So I just wanted to give you fair warning so you're not like feeling overwhelmed. Um, but for today's activity, um, it's called a Syrian journey, choose your own escape. So I found this really cool resource. I'm gonna click on the link and show you. So I'm clicking the link and going to this activity. So what you will see is a screen that looks like this. Um, it says, the Syrian conflict has torn the country apart, leaving thousands dead and driving millions to flee their homes. Many seek refuge in neighboring countries, but others pay traffickers to take them to Europe, risking death, capture, and deportation. If you were fleeing Syria or Europe, what choices would you make for you and your family? Take your, our journey to understand the real dilemmas that refugees face. So then you'll see a screen called Begin Your Journey. And we're familiar with the Syrian refugee crisis because we've been learning about it from our book. So now is an opportunity for you guys to make these choices about what you would do if your family was um, running away from Syria. Okay, so... The journey is based on extensive research and real stories of Syrians who have made the journey. So to begin, you select your character. So you choose whether or not you are male or female. You are female. I mean, not you. I am female, so I'm choosing female. And here it gives you a little map. So this is our starting place, and here's our map. So you scroll down a little bit. Um, you read... What it asks you, it says more than 9 million Syrians have been forced to leave their homes and you and your family are among them. You have sold your house in Damascus for a fraction of its value, $20,000. You are now in Lebanon, but you dream of the safety of Europe. To make that journey, you must risk being smuggled across land or sea or both. As a Syrian, to get to Europe, you have to go through Turkey or Egypt. You have to choose. What do you do? Do you choose Egypt, which is cheap but living conditions are poor? The onward journey has to be by sea. Or do you choose Turkey, which is more expensive but living conditions are better? You could reach Europe by land. Okay, so you would choose either Egypt or Turkey, and then it would take you to the next question, and you'd have to continue making choices along the way until you get to the end and see if you are safe or not. Okay, so what I want you to do as you make this, these choices is go back to this document that I am giving you guys, and I want you to tell me um, what choices you had to make. Okay, so the first one was... Um, you had to choose male or female, so I chose female. And then the next one was choose whether you'd go to Egypt or go to Turkey. And so let's just say, say that we chose Turkey because that's what Mahmoud's family did. Okay, so that would be this, the second one, all right? And then depending on what choice you make for the next thing, you would come back to this document and you would write um, what choice you made, all right? So you will do that until you reach the end of your journey. I gave you slots for about 10 different choices. There might be more, there might be less, so don't panic if your journey ends at H and you still have two letters left, or if you've made more choices and you have to add a few letters, okay? That's totally fine, okay? 
So that is the first section of this assignment, which I will give you guys six points for completing this part of the assignment. Um, so that's like a big part of how I'll be grading. And then the next portion is reflection questions. So I have written four reflection questions that I want you to think about after you um, have gone through this entire activity. So the first question is, how did you feel as you were making these choices? Just process. Um, were you getting kind of stressed out that you may not make it? Were you just like calm, cool, and collected? Um, I want you to describe like how are you feeling as you were making these choices. The next one is what was the most difficult decision that you had to made, make? I went through this myself and like there was some points where I was like, oh my goodness, what do I do? Like I don't want to choose the wrong thing, but I don't know what's going to happen. And so this is very realistic. It gives you some tough things and you have to decide and whatever you decide can impact, can affect what will happen to you and your family, whether you survive, whether you have to go back to Syria. And so um, I was getting a little nervous at some points and I'm sure you'll experience the same thing. So I want you to tell me what was the most difficult decision you had to make. And then I want you to tell me what was your final result? Did you make it to safety or not? Um, and then the last one is, how did this activity help you better empathize with the struggles that refugees have to face today? So remember, we talked about the word empathize, meaning like, like putting yourself in their shoes, like feeling the pain and the emotions that they are experiencing. So how does this activity help us empathize with those people? We haven't had to endure or experience those things but this activity kind of helps us get a taste of what it would be like if we did have to face those things. And so that is our activity for the day. If you have any questions, you know that you can email me. Um, hopefully this little tutorial helps you know what I'm expecting. Um, when you finish, I would prefer it if you attach this document to the Google Classroom assignment. But if you can't figure that out, then it is totally fine if you just go up here and share it with me. All right. So you can share it, but I would prefer if you um, you can go file and you can download it. And then in the Google Classroom assignment, you can attach this document to the assignment when you submit it. Um, but either way, I will accept either. All right, I'm just telling you which one is easier for me personally as I grade. All right, so I hope you have a great day, guys. Um, stay tuned for more. See you later.